Like a lizard. Do me a favor, throw this poop out. Mom's gonna kill me. Oh, look, she's standing her ground. Excuse me, pardon me. I got cut right below my eye, I get cut here, and I bleed for my lizards, man. Okay, just got home from bringing Leo back. We're picking him up from school, and as you can see, our female iguana, the blue iguana, is somewhere in the house. Now, we have to look for her. He's not happy. He's a little concerned about this. But you've got to help me look. Um, my God, guys, you're going to see that I did not clean the house today. Anyway, let's try and find this lunatic lizard. Ooh. Where? Hey, that is poop. Good job, kid. Get me a napkin. So we know he's detective. Maybe she's gone in this direction, judging by the poops. You got the thick part comes out first, then it pinches. You see, when you pinch a loaf, it kind of gets a little bit, um, it gets a little tapered there at the end, right? Yeah, you know a lot about poops. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna, I think she might be in the den, dude. She may be in the den. Do me a favor, throw this poop out. Okay. <laughs> he didn't look too happy about that. Let's go look in the den. We're gonna crawl like a lizard. Crawling like a lizard. You guys are gonna see what's under our couches. It's not gonna be pretty. Is there a lizard under there anywhere? No, nothing there. She might have gone, she definitely has gone in this direction. Good news is she can't get out of the house. Oh look, the aquascape one. What? Yeah, that was knocked over, oh my God. Oh no, mom, mom's gonna kill me. She was definitely over here. She, she smashed that. Oh, that sucks. Holy smokes, going under here. This lizard has caused a lot of trouble already. Oh, man. Oh, I found her. Here she is, dude. Right there, wedged in there. What a pain in the neck you are. Oh, my God. Well, since she's out, we can give her an injection also. This is crazy, man. What the hell? What's she doing in there? Oh, 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 I know, I know. You're just aggro lizard here. Aggro lizard. Oh, she's such a pleasure. I love her. Oh, God, don't bite me there, please. Oh, oh. Hey, Leo, would you be my camera person? Yeah, take this, point it at the action. There you go. All right, what we got to do now, follow me, boy. We got to go and get a um, syringe with our oh it's dark turn on that light bud ah thank you all right so we gotta guess look she's already cut me with her nails we gotta um why are you scared you're not scared are you you're okay i won't let her get you she's just scared too that's why she's doing all this she's just a little fighter let me go grab the medication i'll show you guys what we have to do with this little lizard see we keep the uh Look at the medicine right here. We gotta get the uh, medicine and put it in the freezer. Okay, she's on to her third injection since she visited Dr. Mike. All right, you first, buddy. Okay. Go ahead, she won't get you, I got it. She can't do anything. Will you, don't be skittish now. Make sure you do a good job doing the camera. Big job you got there, boy. So we're gonna come back over here. Come on, bud. Let's turn on the uh, light. Holy smokes. All right. Now, I know you got homework, mm -hmm. so just hang out for a second. Okay, here, open up the tripod on that. Okay. And adjust the camera to where it is gonna be able to video. How's that, everyone there? Can you all uh, see me? Oh, yeah, good job. Just... I'm good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, you don't, go do your homework now, boy. All right, everybody, so um, here she is. Now, it's gonna be a little bit, because I have to thaw this out, but she did peel away on the old, uh, on this. I need to put locks on these, it turns out, when I have lizards in them, or some kind of thing to brace it. But uh, I'm glad we actually found her. I love it, man, and we use detective work, too. Honestly, the poop is where, what told me where she was. I've gotta clean that vase as well. Kate's not gonna be happy about that. So that's kind of a bummer that I'm dealing with that, but um, 
What else can I say? It is what it is. I sometimes hold it in my fingertips like this, and this will actually help melt it. Um, the cool thing about this medication, it's called ceftazidine, and it's an antibiotic, uh, and a lot of other people will use something called Batril. Um, I find that Batril is kind of a very uh, strong drug. It's hard. It actually makes them uh, have some kind of reaction in the injection site. So this is a lot more, it's a lot more delicate on their bodies or a lot gentle. How's that? A lot more gentle. Now this lizard, you guys have known her for a long time. She's been around here for a while. Um, she is just a little bit of a loon. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. Um, she just does not tame up. You know, I've done everything I can. Uh, or I just basically give her a lot of space. But her and the male just aren't taming up. And I think these guys are going to go live with my friend Mike Haug in uh, South Carolina. He's been wanting to get into rock iguanas. And um, these are breeding a breeding pair. So that's good. I think I'm going to do that and open up her cage for some of the other inhabitants here. Like our... I think we're gonna move our rhino iggies in there. So if you guys come on over here and have a look, you can see that her wound is looking really, really good. Remember, she was degloved pretty much um, right there. So fortunately for us, she is looking good. And fortunately for her, she's looking really nice. Um, I like these animals, but I just would really like to have more room for the rhino iguanas. And I think that would work out better for me. She's real strong too, by the way. So I wanna just try and keep her Chilling out here. I'm gonna have to hold her for a while. She's trying to give me a good bite, however she can. Um, this is starting to melt, as you can see. Very, very good. It doesn't take long to melt. Uh, and we've got uh, 0.3 mLs of ceftazidine in here, and it's kind of uh, formulated for her weight. That's how you know how much to give her. Thank goodness for Dr. Gillen at PGA Animal Clinic because. Um, he mixes it up for me, which is nice. He puts it into solution. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and see how we're doing here. This is looking pretty good. It's defrosted. It's thawed out nice. So we're going to go ahead. And since we can, we can just do this subcutaneously, um, it's tough for me to just kind of pinch her. But I can, I can kind of pull back right there and just get a little, get in there. Just go under the skin, right like that, and we push it in, okay? And that's it, and I hold the uh, injection site. She just hangs out. I just hold that, she's calmed down, and then this medication is going to do its job in her body. Since she's nice and warm, it will get into her system. And again, look at how nice that looks. Looking really good, so I'm happy about that. Ah, oh, what a gal. Yeah, blue iguanas, these are Cayman blue iguanas, and these guys are from the Cayman Islands, of course, and they're an endangered species. Now, these are hybrids, so they're not pure. They're Lewisii Cuban rock iguana hybrids, but they do retain or show much of that light colored head that the blue iguanas will have. Uh, really, really pretty, pretty animals. Let's go ahead and get her back in her little house here. She's not happy about it, but it's where she's got to go. Oh, look, she's standing her ground. Standing her ground. Tough. Tough girl. Tough lady. All right, look out, girl. Excuse me, pardon me. There you go. So she was able to open this. I'm going to have to put some, I'm going to wedge something in here, huh? Like maybe, no, nope, that won't work. I'll have to figure something out. Usually you can take um, like little pieces of wood and wedge it in there. But I did order some jewelry uh, case locks. But they sent me the wrong kind, so I'm waiting on those. Uh, but anyhow, that's some exciting stuff. Let's go check the mail outside, see how he's doing. I know they've been locked up. It was cool last night, but we can kind of peek in and see him, and you can just get an idea of what he looks like. And he's just got the same kind of temperament that she does. I don't know why they are the way they are, but that's they were given me that way. And uh, they never kind of chilled out. And I've had them for years now, and I've given them a large enclosure and this and that. They've had babies, but they're just really a skittish uh, crew. Uh, by the way, if you see the scratch under my eye, that's because Slinky got me. If you saw my Instagram stories, you saw that a couple days ago. I was carrying Slinky in, and sadly, I got cut on the eye from his claw. It was a mistake. He was going for my hat and wound up getting my cheek. 
All right, let's have a peek. That rhymes with cheek. Okay. Oh, there he is. He's waiting to go out. Look how beautiful he is. Let's open it up. It's not gonna be cold tonight. Come on out. Come on out, little buddy. Yeah, he's pretty cool. So you see that light, light head? This guy will get a bit bigger. They're still kind of young adults. They have uh, reproduced before, as I mentioned. Um, they've got their heaters here. Heater up there. Take it easy, dude. He's just really, really skittish. And, you know, I wish it was different, but unfortunately, it is not. It's just the way he is. And um, like I said, they're going to go to Mike Haug's house. Uh, Mike is a fantastic reptile keeper. I really like Mike. He's got buttercup. Um, I know they'll be cared for and they'll have great space. And then this area will be, um, I'm not going to really have to do much except put the rhino iguanas in here, which is nice. Look at the scratches I got. They really are something. This will be empty. I'm probably going to do something different with that. Maybe something for hatchlings, things of that nature. Uh, I could even put tortoises up here. Um, you know, which would be kind of neat. We could have a tortoise table up here with a few minor, uh, you know, tweaks. Also, we've got this cage, which I'll probably remove to give more floor area, more surface area for the uh, iguanas living in here. Here's Guapo, the other rock iguana that I have here at the old Camperoo. Their heads. These guys, on the other hand, are super cool with me. Super duper cool. Look at that. Never had a problem with her. Um, never had a problem with him. They fight each other, but as far as me, they've been very good to me. Um, you guys have been watching the channel for a while. You know that. Oh, he's got little cobwebs on. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You've been locked up. I know you could stir crazy. You stir crazy, boy. Oh, he loves when I scratch that third eye of his, his penial eye. Give him a little scratchy. Oh, get some of this off of him. Yes, that's a good boy. I love you. Oh, look at all that. That's a little schmutz. So he's beautiful, man. Much more agreeable creature, I would say. Good old guaps. Uh, Lola, on the other hand, she's tough on guapo, aren't, aren't you? All right, let's go let out the rhinos. They're the uh, third species of rock iguana that I actually have here. You know, it's funny. I was just thinking, I bleed for my lizards, man. I got cut right below my eye. I get cut here. This is what it is. You're going to get nicks and bruises in life. I wear them as badges of honor. Okay. All right. Let's go. What's happening? What's happening with our friends here? Oh, they're worried. Oh, they're, they want out. These guys want out. Come on. My beautiful rhino iguanas. Oh, he's all warmed up. That heater does a good job. My fluker lamp. There you go. These guys tamed up easy too. I didn't do anything special with them, except give them a good home, give them some space, and uh, yeah, it works out good for them. All right, let's shut that down. Let's see if they'll come out. Well, you know what we'll do? Let's feed these guys a little cacti. If you look over here, we got plenty of cactus. I've been pruning some and feeding it off to the tortoises. So let's go ahead and get a little bit like this one. Just twist it, then we'll go in their cage and hang out with our beauties, the rhinos. I was digging around looking for nests, found a few eggs, which is pretty cool for the cherry heads. There's always eggs this time of year. Come on. Yeah, I want to get rid of this cage because I have to crouch down to get in it. And um, it's really, you know, it's kind of falling apart. I don't like it. So if I can get these guys, here you go. If I can get these guys into this, then they'll be pretty happy. Come on. That's it. They love their cactus. I got to be careful they don't bite me. There you go. Hey, right there. No, no, no. It's right here. Look at, there you go. Come on. Hurry up. Get some. Get some. Oh, don't be mad at her. You're no. Oh, what are you doing? You silly goose. You see, they talk to each other like this. He wants some of that food, but he's got to... Here, you go away for a second. You go over there. You, it, it. The male wants... Look, she's just so aggressive as far as feeding is concerned. I wonder why he doesn't want any. He's too interested. There you go. That's a good boy. Good boy. Oh, my God. I love these guys. They get close to my fingers. They get a little careful. Oh, there you go. Oh, these two. Petro and Petra. Uh, these guys are are rhino iguanas and they're so beautiful. I've had them many years now. Gosh, I think I've had them almost 10 years. Got them from my friends at uh, Starborn Reptiles. Dave Morningstar and his family have some beautiful animals there and they're from uh, 
Queenie, I believe. There's some of her offspring. So really, really cool species. No, 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 I have no food, no food, no food. Oh, they're gonna jaw fence a little bit. This is normal. They've been cooped up all for the last 30 hours. So, but the danger th dangerous thing is, is when they're kind of talking to each other, um, you have to make sure you don't get in the middle of it. So just gotta be careful. But he's been very good to me and so far so good. No problem, see? I just kind of come into their house, give them scratches. See, they raise up, that's good. When they raise up like that, that means they're happy, they keep their tail on the ground. When they raise up like this, they're okay, okay? So yeah, like I said, these guys will be breeding soon. In another few months, they'll start breeding and we'll get eggs again in August, end of July, August. So really, really cool. They're my favorite uh, as far as, well, that's not, I think Guap and Lola are my favorites, but I love these guys as well because they tamed up nice. Yeah, look at that. They can just take good patting. And then I saw some dry skin here under his eye, but I don't know if he'll let me grab it if I just get close here and just, I don't think I can get it. I don't think so. Wait, no, nah, I don't think it's ready to go. But uh, cool little critter, huh? Very cool critter. I love you. I love you too. But I don't have any food, sweetie. So look at her. She just thinks everything's food right now. She must be hungry. You hungry? Should I get you another one? Oh, uh, let's go get her another cacti. Let's get another cactus for her. Let me see. We'll shut that. Good job. Go back to the grocery store here. Get to our grocery store and get her all set up. Mmm. Let's go bigger. Let's go bigger. That's it. She'll like this. It's even got little buds growing out. So with this cactus, it's spineless, apuntia, nopales. Um, basically, you can throw it on the ground and it'll curl up, it'll root, and then it'll get little buds on it and you'll have a whole new cactus plant in no time. Here we go. Here it is, here it is, come on. This is the whole cactus. Oh, good girls and boys. They really have great teeth. Look at this head shake. You gotta hold on to it, and she can really get a very good portion of this cactus cut up for her. Nice bite size portion. They don't really chew, they take chunks, they arrange it, and then they swallow it. Oh, she got a big one there. Good boy, come on, come on. Oh, gosh, you didn't, wouldn't think they'd be able to do that. You can see their teeth in there. They're many little teeth. And they do very good. She's having a hard time, so I wanted to help her. See how he does it? Oh, good boy. <laughs> Look at her mouth full there. Aw, who doesn't love rhino iguanas? Look at that face, she's so beautiful. And we do have a baby rhino. I still have the baby, a little shy. A little shy baby guy, but very happy. Come on. Come on, there you go, that's it. It's tough at the bottom here. I'll leave this in their dish. Let's head back on in, make sure that girl is still where she belongs. I'm sure she is. I put these cotter pins in. Keep these girls and boys in their house. Oh yeah, anyway, funny stuff. You know, I didn't even anticipate making a video. I just kind of film as things happen here and um, boom, I come home from picking up Leo from school and. I'm like, hmm, why is that cracked open like that? <laughs> so she got out, but I wasn't too freaked out because I knew that uh, she can't get out of the house. Not unless they figured out how to open doors. Jurassic Park, 1993. Uh, anyway, talking about the velociraptors. So good stuff, gotta clean, please forgive. Let's turn on a light in here too, I think that would be nice. Also need to dispose of this syringe properly. Okay, <laughs> you gotta cap it off. I cap them just like that. Then you twist off the tip and then you throw it out. And in here is our little baby rhino. The last baby rhino. Where is he? Now I know that he didn't figure out how to open up this thing. He was in here with all the cherry heads, but they've all kind of been sold up. up, 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 up. Easy, buddy, easy, easy, easy. Here we go. There it is. Beautiful little baby rhino, huh? That's a little baby rhino iguana. And you can see just the beginnings right here. Maybe if I put it over him under the light. You see the beginnings of those little horns? These guys take about three years to actually uh, get large enough to breed. Um, but I would wait a little longer. 
but they're pretty. They're just such a cool little lizard. I love them. And they do tame up really nicely. So there is our baby rhino, our big pain in the neck mama, blue iguana. We saw the rock iguanas. Got to see everybody. We did an injection. I got a lot done. I'm very happy about that. There's her fluke of food. Tortoise treat there. They love it. They eat the same food. So how do you like that, friends? Okay, that's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for helping me. Thank you, Leo. He just said, huh? Anyway, um, he's a good boy. A uh, little bit skittish around the lizards, but hey, what are you gonna do? All right, everyone, we'll see you guys soon. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and head on over to patreon.com slash campcannon for more content and uh, some live videos as well. See you guys soon. Be well.